<laughs> I'm losing over here. Again. She's good. I almost believe she genuinely likes him. Perhaps she does. <laughs> she knows father would have her killed if he knew the truth. Not if we talk to him, explained how we feel. He could help us keep her safe. Are you going mad? No, no, father would drive a stake in her himself. That's not true. We can trust no, him. No, no, not with this. No, please promise me you won't tell him, Stefan. There was a time that I trusted him more than anyone. Well, Stefan, to what do I owe this pleasure? Did I interrupt your writing? These are the dull musings of my troubled mind. A great mind. Still, I will carry the real secrets with me. To your grave. And a full grave it will be. Now, speaking of troubled minds, what's on yours? I have concerns about your plan for the vampires. And why is that? We are making the assumption that all vampires are as evil as they've been characterized, but what if that's not true? Do you have any evidence to the contrary? Do you know of any vampires? No. No, of course not. But are we to take what others say at face value? You always taught us so differently. Stefan, these creatures are of the darkest parts of hell. They have the ability to control your mind, seduce your spirit. They are deadly, and they must be destroyed. Those who stand with them, those who bring shame to their families, will be destroyed as well. A gift. From Damon? From Emily, actually. And when will you stop worrying about Damon? I want you all to myself. <laughs> Just as he wants me, but I'm the one who gets to make all the rules. And why is that? Because I'm spoiled. Yes, you are. And selfish. Mm -hmm. And because I can do this. And this. I say, son, nothing that you feel for her is real. She's a vampire, Stefan, a monster. I fed you her vein, hoping that it would expose her. How did you know? Your sympathy for their plight. I didn't raise my sons to be so weak. The sheriff, now. Go, quickly! Now, son! Go check those woods over there! No, don't take her. Do you know what they'll do to you? If you're branded a sympathizer, you'll be killed along with them. Then let me be killed. I'll help you. We'll get her back. Help me. Don't you think that you've done enough? You promised you wouldn't tell him. I didn't think this would happen. You did this. This is your fault. I think 
starting. What? No. What time is it? Oh my god. No, 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 no. We're so late. Well, you're the one that couldn't keep your paws off of me. Hey, man. Put your tucker back on. I am, I am. <laughs> Well, I hope it was worth it. Actually. Ugh, gross. Not the time. Okay, have you seen Pony or Matt? They're not here yet? Oh, just go. Go. Go, go, go. Okay. And so? Looks like I'm joining the human club. It's a big night for both of us. I'm proud of you. You too, buddy. friends on this magical evening to the wedding of Alaric Saltzman and Josette Laughlin. Josette and Alaric have prepared their own vows. <clears throat> this can't be it. No one's here. Perhaps your companions gave you the wrong address. They're not the ones who gave me the address. And he did. Neither one of us should be here right now. We've spent our lives dodging fate, beating the odds. But because we did, I got to meet you, the most beautiful, hilarious, and intimidatingly brilliant woman I have ever known. You inspire me. You've shown me that happiness is actually something that I can have in my life. And so, I promise to be with you and love you and to dodge fate with you. For the rest of our lives. Josette? Oh, God. That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> and here goes. Lark Saltzman, you are. Joe. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my God. Joe. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. no. I was going to wait till the death do us part, bit, But it seemed a little on the nose. No. Am I right? I'm doing you a favor, Damon. This exact choice has defined your life since the moment you and your brother first laid eyes on Elena. Being torn between the two has only brought both of you an immeasurable amount of pain and suffering. It can end now. Choose. I choose me. 
stuff is mortal. He's lived a supremely messed up life. His soul's already damned. Take me. You'll get us both eventually. I have to say... I'm intrigued. We'll act now because it's a one-time offer. Are you aware of what you're offering me? My soul in eternal anguish. Twisted, black, and delicious. Just like you like them. So come on. Eat me. I like nothing more. But it requires you being dead. Oh, demon. Please don't do this. Sorry, Steph. It's been a hell of a ride. Put my girl out first. Then promise me you'll keep your grubby paws off her soul. Permanently. Done. Your move, Damon. Damon, don't. See you in hell, Kate. No, Damon. Yes. You will. I was hoping you'd say that, but I warn you, if you attempt to keep Damon's soul on this plane, your mind will surely shatter. He's right, Vaughn. You gotta let me go. Not gonna happen. Please, let go, Vaughn. Or I will. Damon, don't you dare. Stop it. Dirty work next time, okay? Let me guess. You use these in your little vampire lab rats, don't you? Not in the mood to talk? Fair enough. We're gonna play a little game where I inject you with whatever the hell necrotizing fasciitis is. It's a flesh-eating bacteria. Gross. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions. If you answer me correctly, I'm gonna give you some of my delicious vampire blood, and it will heal you right on up. 
If you don't answer me correctly, we're just gonna have to see how much flesh these little guys can eat. Turning a kid into a vampire so you can experiment on him? Harsh. What is it about this place that turns people into mad scientists? Human trials are a vital part of modern medicine. Yeah, but don't people usually volunteer or sign waivers, maybe get some dough for tuition? Sometimes you do what's necessary for the greater good. I'm not the greatest guy in the world, but it sounds like some Mangala-level crap that you're spouting out, so I gotta ask, what is your greater good? Rabies. Sounds fun, doesn't it? And appropriate given the circumstance. Ah. Mm. I wanted to turn Jesse into a new kind of vampire. Well, that's awfully ambitious of you. I am awfully smart. Ebola? Why? Your kind is dangerous to humans. You're dangerous because we're your food source. I want to change that. You're lucky I don't feel like burying a body. <sighs> what the hell did you do to me? Easy there, killer. Wasn't bad enough that you locked me up and poked me full of needles. Now I want to feed on the girl I like. You feed on the monsters, Jesse. In case Professor Forbes forgot to tell you in your training, sweetie, I'm a lot older than you. That means I'm a lot stronger than you. Actually, that's not 100% accurate. Tear my head off, Elena, please. No! No! no, Jesse! Jesse! Come here, hold on. Hold on, just stay with me, please. Jesse! Just stay with me, please. If you're gonna do this, I'd much rather prefer a bullet through the brain. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I can compel all of this out of your head. What the hell is that? Why does this say 12144? What do you care? Because I was 21051. 21051, hang on. You were an Augustine vampire? Augustine, I haven't heard that name in decades. Vampire lab rats, coded subject names. Thought you guys shut down 60 years ago. You thought wrong. You know, I said I wasn't gonna kill you. I lied. Vain. When working with vampires, you can never be too careful. I'm sure Augustine will be thrilled to have you back. Mark trained me. I've been practicing with Stefan. So what? Now you're gonna take on a professional killer? Bang, you're dead. Now what? Headshot's no good. It has to be the heart. So now you're dead. <laughs> For someone that doesn't want to be like me, you sure are good at it. My brother is the only thing that's holding me together right now, Damon. If anything happens to him... We'll get him out. I promise. 
Then I'm coming with you. You're not coming with me, Elena. You need my help, What so if I'm... Connor attacks and you have to defend yourself? And what if you kill him? The guilt will wreck you. You don't think that I, I, I am afraid of that? Of course I am. Stefan, I'm barely holding it together. If Jeremy gets hurt... Hey, Jeremy, okay? No. I promise you, Elena, listen to me. Listen to me. <sighs> this is the most important thing that I have ever asked you to do. I just need you to trust me. Please. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I don't make deals with vampires! Listen to me. If you die right now, then your whole life, all that killing, it'll all be for nothing. I can give you the truth. Just put down the gun and let Jeremy go. Please, don't hurt him. You're coming to close, he's dead. Elena, get out of here. He's the only family that I have left. Just let him go. You hear that? The girl's watching. I will shoot the boy right in front of her. On the count of three. One. Two. you're up to or what Klaus has over you, but even if I have to go through you, I'm gonna kill him. Better back off, Damon. Why? Because Klaus wants him alive? This has nothing to do with Klaus. You're just gonna have to trust me on that. Don't want to. Don't have to. I'm not gonna. Now give him to me, brother. Run as fast as you can. You're not gonna kill him. Why are you protecting him? Tell me. Tell me. Pause will kill anyone who knows. Man, it has to be good. Spill it. Spill it! Connor's tattoo is the key to a cure. A cure for what? For her. For Elena. Klaus told you there's a cure for vampirism? Yeah. And if Connor dies, then we'll lose it forever. I know it's crazy, Damon, but it's hope. Do you understand me? It's her only hope. Brother. Look at you. So worried about your brother. You're the biggest monster he'll ever meet. You missed. I'm still, you know, a little, uh, a little jittery, a little bit on edge, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I've been really worried about you, and I've missed you. I just needed to lay low for a little while and uh, let my body readjust. It's only been a few days. <laughs> it feels like a lifetime. I've missed you too.
Stefan's wrong. Stefan. I tried so hard to keep it together tonight. And it was working, it was working. Uh, but, but then Matt's mom, she uh, got hurt and she was bleeding and I had her, her blood on my hands. And then what happened? And then that, that guy in the parking lot, I wanted to feed on him and it took everything inside of me not to do it. But you didn't? No, but I wanted to. Oh my God. Lena, I, my, my head is pounding. I feel like my my skin is on is on fire. I have this hunger inside of me that I've never I've never felt before in my entire life. And all I keep thinking about is how I promised that I would never keep anything from you. And so I'm telling you this. It's okay. I need you to tell me these things. But I don't want you to see me like this. I don't want you to know that this side of me exists. Stefan, you're gonna get through this. I'm gonna help you pull through. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. No, 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 no. no. I'm afraid of what I could do to you. I'm not. Stefan? Stefan? I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I love you. We have a problem, Stefan. And when I say problem, I mean global crisis. Seems Uncle John has it. You don't look so good. It's different this time, isn't it? The need is too strong. Of course it would be after all these years. this happen all this what do you mean like vampires and for vain and in death this was my life this is what I dealt with alone for a long time this is what I wanted to escape so forgive me if I'm not in the mood to give you a history lesson got this, it means I'm dead. Which sucks. But it also means I need your help finding someone. Good try. 
Oh, this is too hard. Oh. Why don't you give the girls a goldfish for their efforts? We'll take that one. Is he sick? Oh, I think he might be dead. But that's okay. Tell you what. We'll take him home and give him a proper burial. Okay. Okay. I swear, if Celine wasn't so good with the girls, I would hate her. She's too perfect to be a real person. Are we gonna bury the fish? Yes, but in our own way. You see, we are made up of two parts, our body and our soul. You see, some people are very special. And when they die, a man named Cade comes to take their soul away. Does he take the body too? No, but that doesn't mean the bodies aren't special too. They need to be treated with dignity to find peace in death. And Cade respects that. He appreciates the effort. Let's show him what we did. How? We can call him, but I need you to hold my hand, OK? You? Oh, not at all. You were perfect. You took just the right amount of magic. Now, I need you to say the special word. Incendia. <gasps> Excellent job, girls. I think you're ready. For what? It's a surprise. You gonna be mad if I tell you I'm happy to have you back here? I just wish we were under better circumstances. I'm sorry that I've been MIA. I've just been going through some stuff. And the story of our lives. So how are the girls? Practically teenagers. <laughs> Guessing you have a photo or two. <laughs> uh, that's them playing with the puppy filter. First day of school. Uh, crafting at a friend's birthday party. Oh, I love this. Celine sent it from earlier today. Celine. Mm-hmm. The nanny. I know, Rick hired the hot nanny. No, Caroline, you need to get home now. Lizzie? Hey, Josie! Girls! Lizzie! Girls! Josie! Girls! 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 Where the hell's my wife? I don't know. I give up. You think you're so tough? Hiding in your bar? Drinking your liquor? A telephone call to Chicago PD might set you straight. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Lila. Lila, please. Come here for a second. Oh, thank God. Come on, we're leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. No. You're sitting. What are you doing? Thank you so much, Lila. Why don't you go and bandage that up? I'd like you to join me for a drink. What kind of sick freaks are you? I said, drink. I didn't catch your name. Go to hell. <laughs> Do you want another sip? Liam, 
Liam Grant. Liam Grant. Have another sip, Liam. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> They're jealous. Your family wants you dead because they can never be what you are. An abomination. No. A king. <laughs> Look at us. Two sad orphans. Oh, yeah. My sister fancies you, you know. Mm. But, I shall warn you, Rebecca doesn't do anything half speed. That includes falling in love, so just be careful. She's totally mad. <laughs> I appreciate the advice. <laughs> and when the point comes where she inevitably leaves you, she can't help it, it's just who she is. Don't let your heart do anything stupid. You know why you're a good friend, Nick? I'm glad I met you. You never knew us, Stefan. Thank you. I had forgotten what it was like to have a brother. Do you want to die? We've been found. We need to move. Not without Stefan. Stefan's not coming. We have to disappear. He'll draw too much attention. Let him go. What did you do? Come on, we don't have time for any tantrums. I don't want to run anymore, Nick. All we do is run. I want to be with Stefan. Fine. Then choose. Him or me. That's what I thought. Get in the truck. Let's go. Goodbye, Nick. The wood from one tree and one tree alone, an ancient white oak, would bring death to an original vampire. When the tree burned, all hope was thought lost. He was trying to figure out how to kill an original. But the ash from the tree was saved, and witches forged a dagger to which the ash could be bonded. This alchemic bond provides the necessary poison that I wonder if this is true. I mean, do you think this dagger actually exists? I know it does. Because John gave it to Damon. John gave Damon the, the weapon that's supposed to kill Elijah? This one. It must be brandished by humans alone, for it will bring death to all demons who wield it. John is trying to get Damon killed. Quite a collection you have here. Hmm. There's a funny thing about books. Before they existed, people actually had memories. Ah. Uh. Gentlemen, we forgot about dessert. Elijah. Miss Star.
sorry, guys. Dessert is taking longer than I thought. I usually just unwrap food. <laughs> so, I know this is a social thing, but I, I would really love to ask you some more questions about the work that you're doing here. I'd love to answer. Great. Well, that's so great. Rick, would you do me a favor and grab the notebook out of my bag? Elijah, did, did John tell you that he's Elena's uncle slash father? Yes, I'm well aware of that. Of course, she hates him, so there's absolutely no need to keep him on the endangered species list. No, Rick, it's in the front pocket on the... You know what? Excuse me, guys. Sorry. What I'd like to know, Elijah, is how you intend on killing Klaus. Gentlemen, there's a few things we should probably get clear right now. I allow you to live solely to keep an eye on Elena. I allow Elena to remain in her house, living her life with her friends, as she does as a courtesy. If you become a liability, I'll take her away from you. You'll never see her again. Okay. My first question is, when you got to your domestic... <laughs> said there wasn't going to be any violence. Says the guy that did all the killing. Hey, I took the shot because I saw an opening, not because I planned to do this with Jenna in the house. Now, you can't lie to me like that. Hey, I am your friend, damn it. And you don't have any friends. So no more lying. Elijah's dead. Lark did it. Originals believed in truth and honor. It was forbidden for a vampire to kill another vampire. So the dagger would take both lives. And as long as the dagger stays in place, the original is for all intents and purposes dead. Thank you. 